It's kind of risky because like why nobody else is making a phone like this. You better differentiate. If you're not differentiating, why should you be in the game? You might have followed the, the whole startup story of this new company founded by Carl Pei. For this guy to then leave OnePlus and start a new company in the same lane, you must be sure that he can make something even better. Have you tried pastel de nata? The original one comes from Lisbon. Oh, really? Yep. And a long time ago, I was a martial artist. I actually speak four languages. I decided one day, I'm like, okay, in a week, I'm moving to Porto and that's it. And here I am. <laughs> Recently, I had yeah, a customer, um, his, uh, one of his ear one fell into the toilet. And he was like, do you think it would help if I put it in rice? <laughs> so this is the production floor. It's where all the agents work and try to answer all the questions that the customers have. We started here like three months ago and then everything was new. We didn't have anything. Yeah, we still have a, a good month to go until the launch. And I think the office is more or less ready. Um, the team has been trained as we speak. We started with A1, we didn't know exactly what to expect in terms of demand and, and, you know, and therefore queries and so on. So I guess we took all those learnings, sharpened our processes, and this time around planned much more in advance for phone one uh, to make sure that you know, all the right processes were in place, um, all the agents knew exactly everything about the product. And when you buy a product, if you have any issues or any questions about the product, you want to make sure you know you can ring someone or contact someone that's going to help you fix that. The people are super energized. I think they're really excited to be working uh, on nothing and then kind of with nothing products. So yeah, we just want to make sure you know like with Phone One we do expect a lot of demand, uh, a lot of people, and, and we want to make sure that you know everything is ready as soon as the phone goes on sale, basically. I think to be a good customer rep, you have to have a lot of empathy. You need to listen to the customer. You need to f understand what they are going through and adjust your solution based on the, their feelings. Like it's almost the first contact that this customer has with the brand. You have to know your customers, know your product. You have to give the best of yourself. When we solve the customer's issue and they come back saying, oh my God, you guys are great, you solve my situation. It feels like that I made an, a certain impact on this customer's life. Even if it's just as small as like making their ear ones work, it's pretty rewarding. Two weeks for the launch of the phone. I'm very excited. People asking questions about it, saying they can't wait to have it. As a fan, it makes, you mu it makes it much easier to help the customers because when you talk about something you love, you give them answers that they're looking for. It's like being part of history, basically, so I'm just excited to see where it goes. And I'm very energized, so whatever comes, I'm ready. That's what I love about the job, like being able to be part of something way bigger than I could ever imagine. Would you like to see it? Yes. <laughs> No way, no way. This is serious. <gasps> Wait, how's your, how's your day been so far? It's been all right. Yeah, I just feel a lot, a lot of tension with the, with the launch coming up. That's why I need this. This is not an Americana. So today we're gonna meet Rob, right? We're gonna meet Rob, our board observer. We're gonna meet Adam, power user. Uh, for the first time, I'm really excited. Really, really excited. So they will be talking to us about the, the beta program, right? And how the community is playing like a vital role in getting Phone One launched the best way possible. No, we can't. We have security, we have samples here, man. No, we do. I'm good, how are you? The main thing we're doing today is we've got one of our community members coming along, Adam, and Today we're going to induct him onto the closed beta program. The most exciting bit is that we're going to show him uh, Abra for the first time. He's not seen it. So hopefully there'll be some uh, good reactions from him later on. So the community board observer position is a voluntary role. It's not paid. First and foremost, I'm a fan of the brand. And I think fans are 
probably more likely to be very candid and honest with their feedback. If you were paid, you're quite likely to have biases and uh, be influenced by the stuff internally. But I just hope that I can do the community uh, uh, you know, justice and bring in their most important and valuable feedback. But it's, it's you know, it's um, another one, another one. <laughs> so the energy in the community leading up to the launch of Phone One is kind of, it's pretty massive. Looking at the Discord and the forums, it's pretty clear that our community members are super excited for the launch of Phone One. I think a large part of it is the fact that we've got so many big players from tech working at nothing, so the expectations are super high. Um, so, uh, we're gonna have to shut the road next time, aren't we? There's like an army of thousands of people who uh, are willing to put in time to help make nothing products the best they can be. So leveraging that is really important. And so we're gonna focus on fixing all of the bugs first, and then all those incredible feature requests we've been getting from the community, the product team can start looking at that and start working out what really fits the brand and what's going to make the Nothing OS different from everything else. You all right? How you doing, man? I'm good. How well, are you? Good to meet you. Yeah, you too. So you've come from a long way today, haven't you? Yes. How long was your journey? Two and a half hours, so not too bad. It's a pretty fast train. Wow. Yeah. So we talk on Discord every day, and then yeah. you're actually a real person as well. Yeah, kind of does. <laughs> Very weird. We've nearly lost our lives like three times from trucks running on the pavement here. Let's go in, let's go in. Let's get it. I'm really excited about joining the, the beta testing program. Obviously, it's a really unique opportunity. There's not very many people in the world that are going to get this opportunity. So basically, we get kind of the ability to test products, of course. And um, yeah, I think it's really valuable to be able to be part of that and provide direct feedback to Nothing and the, the product team and the design team and what's working and what's not from a consumer perspective. So Adam, thanks for coming today. Aside from meeting you and for you to see the uh, new Nothing Office, one of the things that we would like to do today is induct you onto the closed beta program. So it basically involves doing hardware testing as well. Okay. So basically today we're going to hook you up with an Abra, a phone one device. Okay. And what we essentially want to get from you is for you to kind of in your, at home daily drive it, mm -hmm. uh, use it as you would, kind of try and stress test it. And I think at this stage it's all about finding those bugs that you know you would find organically through everyday use. So obviously, this device is going home with you, um, and until launch, it needs to stay at home. Okay. Shall I go and get it now? Yeah. Why I'll not? Go. <laughs> cool. This is where I drop it on the floor. <laughs> oh wow! Ah, oh, okay. So that was in the the keynote, wasn't it? I could probably just play with this all day. Yes. I'm super impressed by it. Like. Obviously, we've never seen anything like this before. I was just blown away. It was absolutely amazing. The design of it, you can really tell that it's a nothing phone as well. And I feel like people are going to love it. That's it, isn't it? That's it. Cool. Have fun. I'm going to use the phone as my daily driver, seeing um, how good it is, really. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of responsibility on our shoulders to, to provide the feedback and make sure that it's going to work for every consumer, really. Hey, Tony. Hey, sir, how are you doing? Very good. Good to see you. Good to see you, man, man. It's been a long time. While building Nothing, we've been lucky to have a lot of OGs in the industry trying to help us. I think Tony definitely has a lot of experience and he's been a part of kind of reshaping a lot of the tech world. And before we started the company, we really wanted to get him on board as an investor in Nothing because you know he's been at a large company before, Apple, and been quite successful. And also at smaller companies or his own company like Nest, and also been successful with that. So I'm super like uh, in admiration of Tony's accomplishments. You have the phone here, right? There is one in there. Have you seen it? I have not seen it since Akis showed it to me, you know, when it was early, the first thing. But look at that. When you get to see the design, you go, oh, wow, this is cool. This is different. And it has to be different. If it's not different, um, it's just one of many, many things out there. We don't have the data to validate whether people are going to like this type of design. No risk, no reward. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. There's no data except you like it. The nothing mission is very difficult to be successful. You know, there's so much competition in the space. You have to be different for a reason. Yeah. And so I'm excited to see this. You know, this is going to be the first kind of challenger brand in the smartphone category in a long time. I think it's going to be like the iPod in a way where the product kind of markets itself. You know, when, when people are wearing the white earbuds, you could, you could see, oh, that's, that's the iPod. When people are using the Glyph interface when it's dark, 
um, it's going to get this kind of self-marketing effect. You can set specific contacts to have specific ringtones. Yeah. So over time, you can just, uh, have this memory on who's trying to call you. And when we're in a meeting, we have a feature called Flip to Glyph. So we just put the phone like this, it goes on silent. And then when it lights up, you know who's trying to contact you without picking up your phone. So that's another feature we built. And uh, we're discussing whether we should open up the API to third-party developers to play around with, but we don't know yet. I would want to see what people can try with it, right? And see what happens because you never know where this goes because your best customers, your best word of mouth marketing are the ones who want to do whatever they want to it and then say, look what I did. Like to me, I'd be like, yeah, maybe we see should what, see what happens. Maybe we should. I'm really excited to see how not just the customers um, look at the device, but maybe developers too, and see that there might be a new ecosystem being created in the smartphone world. It's amazing what you know the team has put together, and to go through you know first the headphones and and getting all of that, not just the headphones, but the whole customer journey, and then yeah. to add this to this level of detail in that amount of time. During COVID. During COVID. During, during COVID. Uh, supply chain constraints. Uh, you, you texted me, you wanted to see the marketing and GTM plan. If you yeah, have, I do. I do want to see. Minutes, I want to see where we're headed. Yeah. Hey. How you doing, my man? All good, all good. Good to see you. Today was to get a, a general update and to figure out what's going on at nothing. There's a lot of things going on at nothing, but really to make sure everything's ready for, you know, the weeks to come, because these are huge weeks for the company. This has been the vision of Carl's. So a lot of the culture makers in the world are contacting us. Before at my previous company, we tried to contact people and they would ignore us. Advice for Carl, I think there's going to be a lot of naysayers, especially with the first phone. People are like, oh, it's just a phone. What's the big deal? I think pay attention to the, the voices that matter, not to the media that's just gonna go, well, what's the big deal? I don't see anything different here. I think talk to real customers who see the difference in the phone and what it means. Okay, we need to get together and we need to keep talking about this customer journey stuff that we started talking about. I wanna know where that is. Thanks, man. Thank see you. Ya. I'm really excited to get the pulse of what's going to happen uh, over the next six weeks. If there's anyone who's going to be able to do it uh, and bring up a new brand, it's Carl.